How much was this cake? This cake okay. was a highly affordable $2,000. <gasps> Welcome back to my channel. Today's video got a little wacky, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it didn't go according to plan, but here we are, we're gonna make it work. So my sister Molly, she loves when we make those videos where we support local bakeries. In the past, we've had local bakeries make cakes of me, make cakes of my dog Blueberry Muffin. We challenged four different bakeries to create a cake using this same photo. So this is the photo that we sent, and we're gonna see what they made. So I was supposed to film this video with my sister Mo, but she gave birth yesterday, so now I'm alone filming this video. I look like a boob with all these pregnancy cakes, but I couldn't be happier because baby Graham was born happy and healthy. He was over eight pounds, and I can't wait for you guys to meet him. He's super cute. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, here we go. Let's bring out the first cake. I have not seen these. I've just got my fingers crossed. I hope they're gonna make Molly happy. I hear Denise. <laughs> it's here. Oh, we're heavy. All right, one, two, three, first cake. Oh, oh! This is so cute, you guys. I love the creativity. They've created a whole beach scene. I love this cake. I think that they really tried to follow the photo. They created all of this beautiful, like, rockery all around the cake, not just on the top, like a cute little topper. The cake itself is very clean. It's got clean lines, clean decoration. I loved how they've put this buttercream around the sides, all different shades of blue, and they've made Molly, the cake topper. Also, the cake itself and the icing is all buttercream, which I really appreciate. It's very difficult to get a cake looking this clean and this smooth when it's just buttercream. And then the details, the rocks and the topper are made with like fondant. Okay, they've got Molly's little classic side part as she does. And they've got her beautiful blue dress, little ruffles at the top and even the little tie on the side. All in all, I think this bakery understood the assignment. It is adorable. The only thing that's a little bit odd is her face. It doesn't quite look like Molly. I'm gonna let the details on the face slide a little bit though because sometimes when you're sculpting with fondant, if you decide to make your sculpture a little bit more cartoony, it makes it a little bit more cutesy, general, and forgiving, which I really like. The fondant color that they used is this beautiful brown, and I think it's really close to Molly's hair, but then under underneath right here, it's just this chunk of dark brown fondant right in here. And I'm like, what's that doing there? The neck is just a rolled little ball. Even when she's pregnant, I don't think that she's this round. All right, hit me. How much was this first cake? $400. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molly wanted a pregnancy cake. Well, she got it. Molly, sister, this is for you because I love you. I hope that you watch this video and you love every second of it. So here's your first cake, Molly. Ooh. And this video is gonna be a little bit different because all of the cakes are dairy free for my sister because my sister is lactose intolerant. And we were planning to film this together. So this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying four different dairy free cakes. All right, now it's time to cut into it and take a taste. <gasps> Molly, I'm so sorry. I love you, sister. Oh, I can't wait to see what flavor this cake is. Oh, maybe I've cut way too big of a slice. Oh my goodness, yes, I've cut way too much. <gasps> oh, wow, you guys, this smells like strawberry shortcake. Is it? Let's see, let's see. Mmm. Reviews are in, the flavor of this cake, amazing. My only piece of criticism is about texture. These fresh strawberries, there's just so many of them. They sat together, they really got the cake too moist. Especially near the bottom of the cake, it's really soaked. It's like tacky. Now I'm curious, I wanna see what Molly's made of. Is she all fondant? Oh, oh my gosh, they have her little feet. You can see up her dress. I mean, this is detailed. They could have just left this a solid piece of fondant, but no, they put legs in there. And then let's see if this is all fondant. Okay, there's her little head. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can take off her dress. <laughs> and there's her little leg. <laughs> She's a solid piece of fondant. All right, I'm gonna pack up this cake for Molly and then it's time for the next cake. 
Oh, it's closer. Okay, ready, set, let's take a Oh, oh my gosh. It's such a similar design idea to the last cake that we saw. They created super pregnant Molly as a cake topper and then she's standing in the ocean. She looks like a little mermaid. She's just like floating out of the ocean and around the bottom, it's actually a little bit of brown sugar to look like sand. I'm nervous to move the cake too much because she's really leaning back, but I really love the the dress. I love this kind of like look she's doing where she's kind of like curling up to her shoulder. Compared to the photo, I think they nailed Molly's dress. It's blue, it's got the little ruffles on the top, the tie on the sides. Molly's dress had little gold beads above the tassels and they've even added those little designs here, which I really appreciate. They've got the Molly side part, her brown hair. One of the big differences between the photo and the sculpture is that her eyes are closed. It's a creative design decision that I'm not gonna dock them for because I think that this sculpture looks adorable and super similar to Molly. The color of the cake is very vibrant, it's gorgeous. They could have put a little pile of brown sugar around her so it looked like she was standing in the sand. It also kind of looks like they started that idea. They were going to make a little piece of land and then they stopped because you can see right here some airbrush brown on the top and on her dress. But I think that they changed their mind and just said, no, just let her float in the ocean. Also, you guys, we don't give the bakeries any direction. We let their creativity run wild. <sighs> all right, now it's time to talk about price. Mike, what did this cake cost? This one also cost $400. Oh my gosh. Seems like the going rate for this kind of cake, huh? Now so far, for the same price, the thing that I'm enjoying more about this cake is the sculpture. It seems to just be a little bit more like Molly, but when you get in real close, you're like, what are all these dings all over her face? But for them being the same price, I'm kind of leaning towards this cake as an aesthetic, more wave design and a more detailed sculpture, but it may come down to taste. So let's cut open this cake and see what it tastes like. Okay, here goes nothing. Also fun fact, we let the bakeries pick the flavors of the cakes, as long as they were dairy free Free. They had full range, so I can't wait to see what flavor we got here. <gasps> Ooh, chocolate and beautiful layers. Oh, I'm very impressed by the looks of this. Ooh, it smells like raspberry. <gasps> chocolate raspberry cake. Hello. Mmm. So good. The layers are even, there's great moisture, and the flavor combination is amazing. The chocolate pairs really well with the raspberry. All in all, I would say this is a better baked cake. It tastes a little better, especially from a texture point of view. I definitely prefer this cake to the first one. Now, let's see what's inside Molly. Oh, sorry, Molly. Oh, okay, so we've got some stability dowels here. It looks like no feet. This is just a solid dress, but let's just be sure, let's check. Oh, okay, the dowels end there. So it's just a solid piece of fondant. Look at that. Oh, there we go, just like a little doll. But again, look at this, they've used black fondant in the back. Oh no, Molly, the tide's coming in. All right, now I'm going to cut slices of this cake, box it up for Molly. The next cake is supposed to be bigger. It's gonna take two people to carry it in. Mike is helping Denise bring the sucker in. Bring on cake number three. I hear you guys laughing. Okay, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna actually step back. Is literally, this cake? Literally my heart stopped. <laughs> we'll go with that. It's, re it's, it's really tall? It's, don't, don't go touch anything. Two, Mike, why can't my eye? Okay, three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> This is humongous, no way. How am I even gonna spin it around? Oh my gosh. It's Pregnant Molly in 3D. This is amazing. The first thing that I'm noticing is this whole cake is with buttercream, which is really difficult to do. There's no fondant work here. Her dress is so smooth, and then her hair has got texture. They've got her little side part. That looks like a little Molly bug. This is really impressive. This blew my mind. This is a cake that you'd order to like a baby shower or something, and it's a big centerpiece. How much did this cake cost? This cake was a cool $1,100. 
to relax, do some cat cows. Gotta do my yoga just a second, just to just to calm down for a second. Next time, I'm gonna give you guys a budget. I did not give Molly a budget, you guys, and that's my fault, okay? I tip my hat to whoever created this because this is extremely difficult. I know how much love and time went into making this, but for the price, I wanna see those little details. I'm actually really excited to cut into it and see how it's put together structurally. I wanna know where is the real cake and where is the styrofoam? Summary is, I love the cake but I don't love the price so let's cut this open and have a taste the biggest piece of advice I could give about designing teeth a lot of people do the two rows of teeth like you can see here just do one row of teeth the top row like this I almost feel guilty about doing this I don't know if I've ever cut a cake this expensive before so I better give Molly a little handshake hey Molly Shake, shake, shake. This is not how you do a C-section, just for the record, every, oh my gosh, this is so much cake. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've cut all the way down and I could feel cake layers throughout this whole thing. Okay, I think there's a board right here. Here's the middle tier. Oh, look at that. So from here to here, there's a tier of cake and then there's a cake board. And then from here to here, there's another tier. It's a marbled cake. Oh, the smells, it smells so good. I am about to taste a thousand dollar cake. Oh my gosh, wow. This cake is incredible. Beautiful marbled cake with a cookies and cream buttercream. It is so fluffy. This is by far the best dairy-free texture cake I've ever had. Also a side note, a huge thank you to all the bakeries that made the cakes today because when we called to request these cakes, a bunch of bakeries said no, they would not make a dairy-free cake. So I just want to give kudos and give props to the bakeries that would take the custom order and took the time to make this so beautiful and so delicious. Now we know here's cake, but what's this, right? Let's check it out. Out. That's styrofoam. I can hear the crinklies. I already know. What about the arm? Oh, I think that's styrofoam too. From here up, styrofoam. From here down, cake. Let's see if we can get Molly out of there. Up we go, Molly. Ah. Oh gosh. This is not your average cake dowel, you guys. We've got PVC pipe in the middle of this cake. It's very structurally sound, solid. It's not leaning, it's not tilting. Is this cake or styrofoam? That's styrofoam. Molly has got to try this one. This one was the winner. All right, now it's time for the fourth and final cake. I have no idea what to expect. I'm getting a little nervous because Mike Antony's are bringing out the last cake, so I think it means there's another big cake. Okay, I'm stepping back. I have not opened my eyes. I'm not cheating. All right. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow, this is a sculpted piece of art, you guys. This just took my breath away. The last one was a centerpiece. This one is a centerpiece. Look at this. This is incredible, the amount of detail. The size of this cake is blowing my mind. This is the largest sculpted cake I've, I think I've ever seen in my life. Now obviously they took a creative choice to have her sitting versus standing and the detail in the dress is gorgeous. It has the ruffles just like hers up at the top and even the little indentations here into the fondant work and it's got the rope tie on the sides. I would say my main criticism to this beautiful cake is that her hair color is a light brown where Molly is a darker brown and the teeth great job one row of teeth just like we we're talking about like this but I think they could have done a little bit smoother with the lip color and there's like a little bit of black here I think it was supposed to create shadow but I don't think you need to do that on smiles the face is beautiful they've painted on the eyes eyes can be really tricky and I think they did a great job here if I'm gonna be nitpicky you can also see where some of the airbrushing from the hair got onto the skin that happens when you're airbrushing a little quickly but that's happened here all the way around the cake look at these little tubs 
toes. I feel like if I sat in the same position as this cake, we would be the same size. Let's test it. I try it right now. Okay, so I'm sitting on the counter. I'm trying to pretend to be little Molly. This is almost life size, you guys. This is a huge cake. I just feel like you can't really see on the screen like how big this cake is. These hands have great detail, but on this finger, there's like a chunk of red. It almost looks like she has a bloody finger. What's going on there? It looks like she cut herself. Comparing this to the last sculptured cake, this entire cake is covered with fondant, whereas the last cake was buttercream. So before I cut into this cake, I've got to ask, how much was this cake? Are you sure you want to know? I really don't want to know. I'm already starting to back away. This cake okay. is highly affordable $2,000. <gasps> Mike! No! Are you joking? <laughs> You're joking? This cake? <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna put you guys on a cake budget. <laughs> now that I know how expensive this cake is, I have no problem giving a few more critiques. The face could be a little bit smoother. Right when fondant goes on, it needs to go on fresh and clean because if it goes on lumpy, it's really hard to fix. Now, I wanna know what a $2,000 cake tastes like. I don't know about you, but I feel like this better taste like rainbows and money. All right, here goes nothing. All right, I'm cutting into her leg. I'm hoping that we've got a good layer of cake down here. Okay, that feels nice and smooth. That feels, oh, I think I hit a little styrofoam. Oh my gosh. It has a styrofoam at the bottom. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, ooh, what flavor is this? It's pink. Structurally, this is really interesting because the slice that I cut is on top of styrofoam, so the bottom is styrofoam. There's a little bit of aluminum foil separating the two, but I would have done a cake board. Let's take a bite of a $2,000 cake. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Mm. This cake is the best tasting cake of the day. It's pink champagne, it is light, it is fluffy. You would never know it's dairy free. My sister is going to flip out. The bakery who made this, kudos to you. It tastes like a million bucks. Flavors on point and the texture on point. I wanna know, is here cake? Is here cake? How much cake do I get? And I wanna know what's up with bloody finger. Now you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, look at her finger. All right, the arms are styrofoam. Now let's see if the belly is cake as well. Whoa, where's the cake plate? Whoa! This whole thing is cake, you guys. I'm gonna need a bigger plate. I don't even have a plate that big on me, so I'm gonna use a lid. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, oh geez. Okay, it's too heavy. Whoa, whoa. All cake. Now I'm wondering if the chest and head is styrofoam or if it's fondant. Let's see what's up. Oh, no. Is this cake? No way. Shut up. This is blowing my mind. Whoa. Okay, now we've hit some styrofoam. Let's give her a twist and just see. Whoa, yeah, okay. So this is a styrofoam head. You can put a wig on it, you know, just wash it off. Molly looks good bald, look at her. Now I can hang out with Molly anytime I want. There's a lot of things about this cake that makes it impressive, but one of them is how much cake is in this cake. 75% of this large sculptured cake is edible. This cake really blew me away. Just incredible. All right, that does it for the video. Let me know in the comments below which cake was your favorite. Was it cake number one, number two, number three, or number four? My favorite tasting was number four, the pink champagne dairy-free cake. It was just something that I've never had before and the texture and flavor was perfect. It blew my mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Also, show Molly some love. Use little heart emojis so Molly can see it and feel the love for you guys. She just gave birth to my new nephew, baby Graham. She wishes she could be here, she's been texting me all day. Now I am gonna go cut this cake up into a bunch of yummy slices and bring her some. This is just such a silly idea for a video and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching because this was really fun to make. Thanks again for watching you guys, Bye bye And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Mm -mm.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Bye!